Yo what's up guys, today we'll be showcasing the new items from the update, uh, the shine update or Katsune island update, I don't know what you call it, but here I am and as you can see I have the new fox lamp and I'll be showcasing it to you. Alright, so these are my stats, almost maxed but I'm not max level so it's 2500 almost so let's see the damage almost 2000 but I have heavy uh, hockey on uh, I mean off sorry so maybe with hockey I will do more damage yes and so this is the damage and I'll show the move so this is a uh, projector move you can just hold it and aim with your mouse where you want it to shoot and then just like that and the other move is a kind of like a flamethrower and also a dash so if I hold it it is a flamethrower and then there comes a dash and you can also just click X and then just only do the dash so not the fire and it's just basically just some movement um, it's not great movement, I mean this is the dash just this far, it's not really that great in my opinion, but the damage is good. I'll show it one more time. So, so you don't have to hold the Z move, it's the same damage. It looks maybe different because now those things are getting bigger, but it's not more damage as you can see. Yeah, it's the same. So that's basically what this fox lamp does now maybe you've already seen it but this is the hockey color from the new event it's kind of like blue pink kind of so and on my back i have the uh, what's it called the mm, 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 where is it here katsune reborn and uh, i'll just show you what it does the stats so over here so this is what it does, it grants you 10% uh, defense against block foot attacks, 15% increase health regen, 30% faster run, 7 plus dash dis distance and 25% cooldown reduction on flash tap and 2500 energy. 2500 energy is not bad but I don't really need that much energy, like the only time I need energy is for the phoenix fruit, because that's the only fruit that really takes a lot of energy, but it's not really necessary the energy. Um, Cooldown on flash tap is alright. Um, so maybe with, with human maybe it's overpowered because human already has fast flash tap, so maybe. Um, but it's not really that overpowered in my opinion. And now we have the other item that is the Kitsune mask. This is what it looks like. Looks really cool. I wanted to use it because it looks just really cool. It looks good with the lamp and the Kitsune food. But the stats are not really that great. This, this is it. 10% um, more d damage on block foot attacks. 2 extra instinct dodges. Just like the Doe Scarf or Katsune Scarf, whatever. And 15% uh, increased passive regen on foot meters. So, and then fit print enchant vision in the dark. See when at 750% uh, health. 750% health is alright. The 50% uh, yeah, kind of like night vision is when you go to the sea in the dark area and I've used it but it's not really that great. I mean when it's uh, when the sun shines it's kind of like just light with some mist so then it's maybe, maybe good but you still have kind of like a mist fog thingy and when it's dark it really doesn't do that much like it says 50% but I don't think it's 50% because you see, still don't see anything. Just a little bit more around you, you see something, but it's really not that great. Um, so I don't. I still use the pale scarf. Like it's still, in my opinion, one of the best. It's not that great. Then also I have a title. I already have the title equipped, I think. Uh, so this is Tell Beast title. You get it from the event. Um, I'll 
show you where it is here this is the normal color kind of like dark blue color so I'll go all the way down it's right over here acquire from the Katsuna shine uh, shrine and tell beast so uh, mm, yeah I think that's about it well I will explain now how the event actually works so you have to uh, mm -hmm. need full moon um, so you need full moon then go to the dark area of the sea with a boat of course then there's kind of like a 90% chance that it spawns so the chance that it spawns is really big you see an island the Katsune shrine island or something and then you have five minutes to collect the fires that will spawn around you so they don't have a spawn location at, uh, at the same location every time but they spawn around you so you can just walk on the sea and then just collect them then you the maximum you can have of those flames are 25 so when you have 25 there's a huge chance that you get an item because when you have 20 or lower or something like that then you always only gonna get money or fragments so what I did is just have the maximum 25 then deliver them and you will get or a title or the mask or the the back thingy or hockey or the fox lamp so there are five things you can get um, and also the what's called the katsuna food so there's a small 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 chance that you get this katsuna food but it's the warehouse one but in my opinion um, it's not really that hard to do this and by the way if you do the event and you only have like six flames collected just you can keep them for the next event and then when you have six you only need like 90 more and then you have 25 again so you will keep them in your inventory but you can't deliver like 15 you can choose how many you want to deliver the maximum is 25 and if you deliver them you lose all 25 but there's a higher chance that you get an item instead of like fragments or money which you don't want of course so that's basically how the event works and that's the end of the video because i've explained everything i think thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope this video was helpful please subscribe and uh, like the video and i will be uh, and follow me on twitch because i will be live streaming and maybe give away some permanent foods or something so i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys later bye bye